this part of the video, I'm just going to very briefly explain about how I learned how to do this particular well progression, this particular technique on sanitary tubing and the events that led up to me learning how to do it. And it's actually a very interesting story. And I'm going to try and run through it very, very quickly here because I know a lot of you really don't want to sit here and listen to me talk. You just want to just see the well. But the, the story is very interesting of how I learned this. Um, 2016, December, uh, um, Christmas, New Year's. Uh, GRB College of Welding was open between Christmas and New Year's and I came in there and I, I renewed my titanium and my aluminum ticket the one day. Um, it must have been the 26th or the 27th. I renewed the titanium and the aluminum. The next day I showed up and I did the, the renewed the, the, the carbon and the chrome. And then I can't remember if I showed up the third day to renew like a nickel alloy and uh, if I did a stainless, I can't remember exactly. But I wanted to uh, learn how to do F5 stainless stick root, which I have the F5 stainless stick root uh, somewhere in here. I, I did the testing and I, and I uh, and, uh, learned how to do it and it was right here. But um, so I wanted to learn how to do the F5 stainless stick root. And so I showed up that day and the reason why I wanted to, uh, to learn how to do it was because a month or two prior, uh, me renewing these tickets in December there between Christmas and New Year's, uh, I got to do the weld procedure for a chemical and fertilizer plant, which is a very, very rare opportunity. Very rare opportunity. It, it's an opportunity in general, and a very rare opportunity. And uh, so I got, the, I got to go to GRB College of Welding there and, and do these welding procedures. And it was like a Ceramid 35, a 904L, uh, Alloy 55, uh, Sandvik SK or SX. Uh, so, uh, so basically, um, I think there must have been another one or two other metals. Um, but basically, it was like a miscellaneous of a couple of pipe, some some plate. Um, uh, it was uh, hardness testing, tensile acid testing, and all these all these is qualifying procedure basically. So it's all these all these different things that these 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 samples are, are these, these welds are going to be uh, going through uh, to qualify this particular procedure. So that has to do quite a, quite a different things to qualify the procedure. And it's just different metals like this one metal welds well, this metal using this particular metal. But when I was doing those, those weld procedures, uh, there's in the booth right beside me, there was a, a welder in there and he was, he was welding on a really thick piece of stainless plate. And uh, I went to talk to Jerry and Jerry is the owner of GRB College of Welding. And uh, he said, check out that guy in there. And so we went into the booth there and he was doing uh, F5 stainless stick root. And so he was, he was doing the welding and I got to see the technique he was using. And I got to take a look at the, at, at the back side of the weld and it was perfect, it was, it was perfect stack of dimes, it was just perfect. And I asked him, I said, well, who's showing you how to do that? You know, because it was just mind blowing. He's like, who'd you show you, who's showing you how to do that? And he said, that man over there. And he was pointing to Jerry. And he said, 20 years ago, Jerry showed me how to do this in 1996. And so that's the reason, that's how I knew about this F5 stainless stick root, and I had to learn how to do it. So in between Christmas and New Year's, I went to GRB there, aside from renewing the tickets. And the reality with my welding tickets is that my, my welding tickets, they're not actually expired. I just like going to GRB and I just like hanging out there. So I'll just show up and I'll be like, oh, my, my tickets are all expired. And then I'll spend the week there. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll renew tickets that aren't even expired just because I like hanging out there. <laughs> but um, so anyway, so I went there to renew, no, to learn how to do the F5 stainless stick root. But uh, that day, I did get to learn how to do the, the stainless stick root after 12 o'clock, but Jerry showed me how to do sanitary tubing.
Now the bristles are more aggressive with the uh, hand brush here, so that's why I'm brushing it forward rather than uh, dragging it towards me. So the ox has removed off the start. Now I'm just removing the oxes off the uh, stock here. And I'm going down the right hand side. This side was a little bit better uh, quality fit up. Fit up is extremely important. Minimize uh, mismatch as very best as you can. This is the tie in at the bottom.
Now we're doing the left hand side. This fit up was a little bit, a uh, slight amount of uh, mismatch. The weld puddle is a little bit wider. This is the left hand side. But do remember that I'm I'm holding the uh, the video camera here very very close. So even if I back it up a bit here, it's you know it's it's ends up being a very small weld. This is a one eighth uh, tungsten. Just for a size comparison here. This is the size of the weld uh, if I give a little bit of uh, length with the uh, video camera here. This is a 4 inch, it'll schedule 10. So I still have imprints, dimples on the pipe here, imprints. Tie ins right here. left hand side Now I'll show the, what the root pass looks like. Now please keep in mind that I am zoomed in a great deal just to get a shot of this weld. It may appear larger quite significantly than what it actually is. Now with this weld, and this is the tie-in right here. That tiny little black dot is where the weld puddle, the last little speck of weld puddle, quit following me. And that is not a weld defect that I'm aware of. <laughs> now this weld should be a cat pass and a root pass all in one go and no filler added now this is another shot of the root pass and please keep in mind that I cut the coupon just to get a closer closer inspection of the weld here and I am zoomed right in to get a very close shot of the weld now this is the tie-in right here the black little speck I'm gonna see if I can actually just chip it off see what it does There we go. Black little speck is gone. See that's where the last little speck of weld puddle just had stopped. So the black speck's gone now. So I'm just trying to show that that is not a weld defect, basically. This is where the puddle just quit following me. Here. <laughs> 